Hi everybody, this is Miss Tristan. Um, we're gonna start with our tween drawing class. Um, I have a couple of different videos we're gonna go through just to familiarize ourselves with uh, materials and um, different lessons so you guys can start drawing and free yourself from any kind of distraction from that around you. Okay, um, today um, I'm gonna probably just use my colored pencil you have um, colored pencils and just a pencil and um, any kind of paper that you have that would be good for this um, this one has kind of a tooth which means it's kind of rough which I kind of like to draw on um, or just regular copy paper just whatever you got in your printer's line um, and then you can always use like manila um, stuff that's kind of thick, cardstock, or whatever your choice is. Just to start out, you don't want to have to do this too uh, specific. You just want to use whatever you got. Um, color pencils, markers, whatever you're comfortable with. Definitely your pencil. Just start with your pencil. That's the best thing. Um, I want to talk about uh, flow drawing. Flow drawing is a technique where um, you're more in touch with uh, being mindful in the creative process rather than what you're focusing on the end product. So you're basically more focused on the um, process rather than the product that comes out at the end. Um, so I'm just going to start with my Pippa and I am going to put it over here and I'm going to get my camera on the paper so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But that's okay. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Um, I'm still here and <laughs> just drawing. So what I want you to do is take your, you have two pieces of paper. Take one of them and I want you to crumble it up. Doesn't have to be a, um, this one you're not drawing on. So this one can just be a cheap piece of uh, copy paper or whatever. Um, crumble it up. Undo it. Fold it. And I want you to really look at it. Um, look at the shadows right here. You see these are darker, obviously, than this one is lighter. And then over here, you can see where the sun is hitting this portion. Um, these are things you need to look at. Um, you're going to be your own reporter of what you're seeing and you're recording it while you're drawing. Okay, so those are one of the things you want to keep in mind when you're drawing is that there's shadows that you, oh, I know how to draw a tree, but really look at the tree. Um, look at it again and look at it again and reevaluate what you really think something looks like. Don't, you can draw, draw out of your head, but take a look. This could be a big iceberg <laughs> or it could be a monster. <laughs> But we want to look at the shadows and the relation thing, the relationship between each shadow. Okay. Well, it's just a crumpled piece of paper, but this actually helps. All right. Now I'm going to start to draw the crumpled piece of paper. Even though it's not interesting, we're still going to learn something from it. Okay, I'm going to crumple it up again and I'm going to have at it. There's no right or wrong. I don't want you guys to think that you're doing something wrong. Um, I used to get yelled at in college the way I was holding my pencil. So sometimes I do just hold it like this. Like that, rather than like this really tight. Like this. Try it out, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this line here. You know what? No, there's no right or wrong. Just start out, okay? You gotta play. You gotta play in order to learn. That's what we do, okay? So there's a couple crumples here. There's a couple shadows here. I'm using some lines that are messy. Um, this is the energy that I'm bringing to my, my drawing. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick outline because I see this edge here. Um, but then I see these little tiny little creases here or there. I'm gonna put little lines there. I'm making this piece of paper really move and you know what what we're doing is we are seeing what 
shadows and the way things are related to one another. I am reporting and recording what I see. Okay, and this is just kind of a realist, kind of a feeling picture. It's not a, um, it's not one that's gonna be um, a realistic, but if you get the gist of what I'm trying to say is the flow of the picture is illustrated by whichever marks I'm using, right? So there's different ways to do this. So you wanna keep looking at shadows, see the darks in here, dark shadows. There's lights in here. So do yours, I'm doing mine. But there's just a couple points I wanted to bring up. Um, you can always take, you know, if you wanted to take, <laughs> not a broken pencil, you wanna take one that actually has a little bit here. Where is it? Where's the camera? There we go. I'm gonna use this bluish, oh, it's violet. I'm gonna use that on the inside of my paper a little bit. Just to kind of highlight some of the dark shadows in there. Okay. There's no right or wrong. Please keep going and please do not look at each other's papers if you're if you're drawing together with your mom or dad or your friends. Please just keep going. Because if a lot of people stopped, we wouldn't have a lot of things. Let's uh, let's think about the light bulb. I think that was about a thousand tries, right? So let's keep going. I think we can keep going on a drawing if Edison can keep calling on a, on a light bulb. Okay, so that's just to kind of get you started, okay? I want you to take a look at your paper. I want you to look at the shadows. I want you to see, oh, well, you know, this one's longer, so this one's a little bit... You know, this one goes up this way, so I'm gonna try to illustrate that. Turn your paper around, start from another angle. Okay, now I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna just hold it in my hand, my piece of paper, and I'm just gonna draw. Okay, get your mind really focused on what you're doing, but don't stress yourself out, okay? We wanna make this fun and that's how we learn. We learn when things are mostly fun. Well, I do. <laughs> okay, so that's what I have for you for that. Um, just some facts. I'm going to turn the camera on and see if I can do this right. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> I have some facts over here I want to share with you. Um, this, is, this is like a form of flow drawing. And it helps um, kids and adults explore simple shapes and how they work together to create larger forms. You can discover your natural flow or rhythm as you would draw. Um, you can combine mediums. So you can use like watercolors and pencils or markers and watercolors. We'll definitely explore those things. Um, please do not seek to be perfect in this. Um, that's not the point. The point is learning how to draw from within you, okay? not what other people are doing. This is bringing mindfulness into your art. Uh, it's a form of self-expression, and that's good because there's nobody else like you. I just want you to know that. Um, so we're gonna be using paper. Maybe we might use uh, one of those cardboard canvases. Um, you can kind of use whatever you want. Uh, I even have a piece of bark in my car uh, from Miss Allison. I might use that, I might break that out. So, um, you know, we can use um, a lot of things. We can use um, oil pastels or crayons. Um, so I might break some stuff out, but I will let you know and you can just see what you have around the house, okay? Um, so that's our first video about flow drawing and our creation of paper, whatever this is. Um, but it helps us to recognize the patterns and the shadows. So I hope you enjoyed this and please join me next time.